Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 12th of 2023. Well, it is titled Mammatus Clouds over Nebraska. So what do we see here? Well, we see some unusual clouds that are kind of puffy on the bottom instead of at the top. And it's an unusual structure of cloud. And normally cloud bottoms tend to be flatter than this. But here we see these unusually puffy ones and we call these the mammatus clouds. And what happens is that air as the air rises, that is warm air, it will cool down and condenses into water drops. And normally that occurs at a specific height and a very specific temperature. And here what we see in these ones, as they continue, the clouds begin to form. However, in some cases, we actually get some ice crystals that form first. So larger droplets of water or ice, and they will become fall into the different areas and become turbulent, especially when you're near a thunderstorm. So these are often seen and associated with thunderstorms here on Earth. And when you see those in that turbulence, you get these specific clouds that are visible. And really, they're even more visible if you happen to have the sun uh, at hitting them at a very uh, at an angle. So if the sun is lower in the sky, you will actually get a more detail and more resolution to them. And you'll actually be able to see these as much more prominent as in the image that we see today, where the sun higher in the sky, it would kind of t take out all of the detail that we're used to being able to see in the image here. So we get to see a lot more detail here, as well as a, a certain a different type of cloud than what we're usually the clouds we're usually used to seeing. Now clouds, of course, are not confined to Earth, but are present on many other planets with an atmosphere. And that includes things like Venus. And of course, all of the large outer planets have very distinct uh, cloud systems and cloud banding structures that we see in their atmospheres. So while this is one type of cloud specifically associated with Earth that we study, there are also many other clouds and other atmospheres that we can study in the solar system system to help give us a better understanding of how atmospheres work and how different types of clouds can develop. So looking at how clouds develop on another uh, planet can really help us to better understand clouds here on Earth as well. So that was our picture of the day for February 12th of 2023. It was titled Mammatus Clouds over Nebraska. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.